So I'm Travis Hawks, Regional Fisheries Biologist for the Nevada Department of Wildlife. And I'm going to talk a little bit today about our electrofishing process and our typical annual surveys on the Truckee River. Um, it's something we do every fall. Uh, it basically gives us a kind of a snapshot of the health of the river, the fisheries within the river. Um, we look at all the species in the river, so not just the stuff people like to fish for, but we're also targeting the, the smaller fish that the fish you like to fish for might eat, um, the, the things people typically call minnows. Um, there's several species. And then we're also obviously after the, the big fish, the browns, the rainbows, the cutthroat trout, the things that uh, most anglers in the community are excited to catch. So, um, like I said, we usually do it in the fall, um, and we start on the lower river, which is down in the Mustang area, and um, from there we work upstream, and we've got nine different stops along the way, and each spot consists of about a 200 to 300 meter area that we will put an electrofisher into the water and shock in an upstream direction. Um, the electrofisher doesn't doesn't injure the fish, it sort of temporarily stuns them, it enables us to capture them. We've got a good group of volunteers out that help us net the fish as they come up to the surface. We put them in a live well and we'll hold them until we're done with that section. And then at the end of it, we measure all the fish, we identify all the fish, um, and all that data gets recorded and then I take it back to the office and I'm able to analyze it later in the year. Um, some of the other locations we hit are in town, we've got a Rock Park transect, a downtown Wingfield transect, and then um, the Patagonia area or Mayberry Park area that a lot of people are familiar with. And then a few more working up River, River Bend Dam, uh, Crystal Peak Park area, and then all the way up to the Verdi Dam. So it basically covers the entire Nevada portion of the Truckee River from um, the California state line to the tribal boundary with the Pyramid Lake Paiute tribe. Um, this year, some of the species we sampled were, um, like I mentioned before, brown trout, rainbow trout, lahan cutthroat trout, mountain whitefish, speckled dace, uh, red side shiners, some warm water fish, largemouth bass, um, green sunfish. I believe we even got a couple catfish this year. Um, what we saw was the river's incredibly healthy right now and super productive. We saw a lot of young fish, which is an indicator that we've had good water the last few years. Um, some really good big fish as well and basically all the fish we sampled were healthy so um, you know it, it shows us that one the habitat's good two the the fishery and, and the regulations on the fishery are, are not impacting it and so you know we can continue forward with what we've been doing as far as management um, and it shows us that looking ahead we we've got some good stuff to look forward to we've got a ton of young fish like i mentioned so what what that shows us is two, three years, we're gonna start seeing more of those larger fish that, that the anglers typically are really excited to catch. So wrapping up, the Truckee River is in phenomenal shape this year. Um, conditions are good this fall. The weather has been very cooperative and it's a great time to go grab your fishing license and get out on the river. Um, if you're looking for opportunities, the lower river at the McCarran Ranch area, Nature Conservancy property provides public access. Fishing's great down there. Uh, you can hit a number of parks in the Reno Sparks area from Rock Park all the way up to Crystal Peak Park near Verdi. If anyone's interested in the types of fishing that are the most productive on the Truckee River, all different techniques work from fishing with worms or salmon eggs to lures all the way up to the proficient fly anglers. Uh, if you'd like to learn a little more about angling, Endow does three-day classes. You can get on to endow.org to find out more on those classes.